What's going on ladies and gentlemen? If your car is overheating or you have issues, you're watching this video. So check this out. There are steps I want you to go through. I have a video following this little uh, discussion. And you're going to start obviously with your cap. If the cap is faulty, replace it. That's the first thing you want to check. If you push on it and you hear hissing, it's not holding a seal, replace it. I'm going to go into other steps now in the video. I appreciate you watching. what you want to do first thing you want to do is believe it or not you get into your fuse box here and you want to check the relays this relay for the fans because believe it or not if the fans don't work it won't cool it down um, this is actually the horn relay this is the fan so what you want to do the easy way to troubleshoot is take this relay out pop it in where the horn goes if you push your horn and it works the relay is fine second thing you want to do is you want to check your fuse all right this blue fuse here would be for the fans you want to just pull it out and you want to check the filament inside make sure it's uh, completed and it's not burned out okay after you do that what you want to do is you want to see if the fans are good and the way you prove to see if the fans are good when the engine hits about 95 degrees the fans will kick on my issue was my fans were not coming on so a quick way to prove if it's the fan itself or the actual there's a coolant right here where my fingers pointed this uh, gray thing is connected to it's the coolant uh, sensor switch um, so what you want to do to prove that is you want to just take it there's a little tab you squeeze you want to pull this off pull the plug off hold on a minute Okay, you get the plug off, and you can see inside the plug it has two pins. What you want to do is you want to jump the pins from one to the other. So you're going to take a paper clip, just like this, with the two ends. Remember, if you have these colored paper clips, you got to peel back the, the plastic. All right, and then you're just going to basically take your paper clip and you're gonna plug it in. Jump it from one pin to the other. All right. Then you're gonna go over to the car. You're gonna get your key. Turn it one click. Turn your AC on. All right. You don't even have to start it to run it. And you can see the fans are going, the fan's going, all right both fans so we know the fans are fine and that's just proving it right back to that sensor so come in here turn that off remove your paper clip okay next thing you're gonna do you're gonna have to get yourself a 24 millimeter socket and you're gonna come in here and you're, and you're going to take this sensor off. Okay, after loosening the sensor, I'm going to reach in. And you're just going to remove it slowly. You might have a little antifreeze come out. That's okay. All right. Here's the old one. You're going to go to your local parts store. Let's see it here. Pretty basic. And you're going to reinsert. Go nice and easy. Make sure you catch the threads right. Once you catch the threads, do it hand tight. Make sure that gasket's on there. And you're going to give it a snug fit with your ratchet. You don't want to go crazy and over tighten it, but give it a nice snug fit. you're basically going to take your plug you're going to line it up and you're going to snap it right back in okay and that's it that's as easy as that so if you find out that 
you replace it, your fans are working, and you're still having an issue with overheating, you could have a bad thermostat, which is located right in the same housing as the sensor we just changed. It's two bolts. One other thing I wanted to uh, mention that you can tell if you have a bad thermostat, if your top hose is warm and you go to grab the bottom and it's still cold. That means the thermostat's not opening and closing to send that flow through. So that'll give you a sign that your thermostat is not opening and closing. All right? Or you could have a bad water pump. And worse than that, you can have a, uh, a head gasket leak. So we're going to try this. See if the fans help. I have no leak. And we'll take it from there. One other thing I forgot to mention. Radiator cap. Believe it or not, if you have a faulty radiator cap, and if the way to tell is if, you, if you're overheating and you could just push on this lightly and you hear it hissing, replace the radiator cap. Because this thing is designed to keep the pressure in also. And people don't realize that. So always change this. It's only about $12 to $15. After letting it run for a while, it stays down in the middle, the gauge. All right, I come out here real quick. It turned out to be that coolant switch. All right, so I hope this helped, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, Sonny.